Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to The Fish Room. My name is Travis. Today we're going to take a look at the Refugium, more specifically the spinning Chato ball that I got going on in here. As promised a couple months ago, I told you guys that I would show you and give you more of an update on this once it grew in and uh, kind of uh, figured out the whole spinning thing. Now, uh, with that being said, you might be wondering why is it spinning, how is it spinning, and why did I decide to do it in the first place? Well, First and foremost, the uh, the issue without it spinning, basically with it just kind of sitting in the refugium, it was sitting at the surface and the macroalgae wasn't kind of uh, growing completely around it. There was a lot of dead spots or really like uh, dark spots or light spots, just indicating that it's not getting uh, proper lighting. And of course, if it's not getting proper lighting, it's not pulling out nutrients efficiently. Now with that, um, it was also getting stuck in the overflow. Uh, you guys can see here, even with the screen on there when I had one, it would just kind of get stuck on the overflow. It was getting caught up and getting uh, kind of uh, stuck over here, getting in be behind the PVC. It was just kind of a mess, a matted mess that kind of collected detritus. And uh, yeah, I didn't like that. So figured I'd try something differently. Now the spinning, basically the idea behind it is to uh, get the entire Chato ball exposed to light. If it's all getting exposed to light, it's of course going to grow, and uh, it does. It grows pretty well. So when it comes to spinning, um, you're probably not going to be able to see it, but I will put some pictures up and some links to the stuff that I use. It's all basically a MaxiJet 1200 with a couple 3D printed parts. Um, you can find them on my website. It's going to be the screen as well as the 6-inch flat nozzle. Basically what I did is I just uh, put those parts on there, suction cupped it to the back. You can probably see right here. And uh, what it does is it pushes flow this way, the bottom, okay? And then I have my input here from the, uh, the uh, chiller. Forgot what it was for a second there. That's pointing, pushing flow down, which then kind of keeps it in place. So it's uh, a downward motion and a forward motion, which is just kind of keeping the uh, spinning. And it's actually spinning pretty good. I don't know, really know what the revol revolutions per minute are, but it's not that bad, right? So. Uh, yeah, it's it was pretty easy. Um, I did get a ton of coralline growth in here. I want to mention that real quick. If you're kind of wondering what all that is, um, I relocated my calcium reactor output back to the refugium to help with the growth because I was struggling getting the uh, chato ball to take off uh, because I, I actually killed off all my chato trying to make this happen originally. So I had to get some more in. It was kind of struggling with the light. So I added the uh, lower pH CO2 filled water in here and it really helped grow it out. So yeah. It's cool, I like it. Nutrients are stable and looking pretty good in the reef tank. Um, per usual, as you guys know, I am definitely a refugium guy. Don't get me wrong, um, the Chato reactors work. I've used them on previous systems, but I do like just kind of having the Chato here. And uh, I don't know, just, I don't know, I can't explain it. Maybe it's just maybe it's just an old, old school kind of thing. I don't know, I'm not that old. I haven't been doing it forever, but um, I don't know. I just kind of like having the Chato, personal preference, I guess. But yeah, outside of that, it's growing pretty good. I am going to give it a few more weeks since we do have a decent amount of room in here. I mean, it's not quite touching the edges yet. Of course, there's still some room on the side to grow. So I'll give it a few more weeks before I start pulling out any. And you can see just a little bit of it is coming out of the surface, unlike before, like the whole thing was sticking out. So yeah, um, pretty cool. So let's see if I can give you guys a little better shot of it rocking so all right guys that's pretty much it for the video i don't want to ramble on too long uh, if you are running a similar setup or if you have experienced uh any downsides with the spinning chato feel free to let me know in the comment section i again i'm going to let this grow out for a little bit longer just to kind of see when it stops spinning if there's any uh, detritus buildup or any issues that i might notice nutrient wise but outside of that pretty happy with it and uh yeah so if you guys have any questions let me know if you want any of my 3d printed stuff including the items that i use to make this happen check out my website fishofhex.com i am running a 20 percent off all 3d printed for at least the next five or six days. So check that out. The code is on the website. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.